What's going on YouTube? Crypto Matrix here coming at you for another cryptocurrency stream. And guys, there is price action all over the place right now. We are having a massive dip on Bitcoin. We're having a massive dip on Ethereum. Basically, everything is dipping right now. What's the reasoning behind it? Guys, it's obviously the inauguration going on right now. There's a lot of drama going on. The price is dipping. Weak hands are being weeded out, guys. Okay? Don't be one of those guys. Just in my discussion just yesterday, I was talking about a big buy opportunity for BTC right now, buy the dip. Okay, you guys could be scooping up the dip anywhere around now, around $31,000, anywhere between thirty-one, thirty-five, dollars and end up in the profit within the next few weeks, guys. Yes, this is a very scary dip, you know, dipping down very low, okay, from all the way up at its high at, you know, over $40,000 all the way down to 25% dip guys definitely scary but I can't stress enough you know in a bull market we're gonna get these 10 to 20% pullbacks and it's just part of the plan so guys there's a lot to talk about even electronium had a big pump up over a cent and then a breakdown okay it was kinda of like a pump and dump is you know are we gonna continue to see some pressure up there with electronium there's a lot of stuff to go over today guys. Be sure to subscribe and like. I'm going to dive right into the price action. All right, guys, so check it out. On Bitcoin, we had a big dump up from over $41,000. We hit a high at around forty-one nine, almost, well, almost breaking 42000 guys. Very close. And then a big sell-off. So, like, right around here, you could see the sell-off happening. The EMA 20 crosses the EMA 55. And then the trend is below. That's that's indicating a trend reversal right here, guys. Right here. That was around the 10th at around 1,100 hours, okay? That was the confirmed trend switch, okay? And then we saw a big dump down. Now, I, honestly, guys, I'm watching for a, a dip right now or a, a bounce, like something just to bounce out of it, you know, like right around here, for instance, okay? And the reason for that is just because we have supports right here, okay? So, for instance, uh, the line extends from right there. There's one touch, two touch, three touch, four touch, okay? So that's a definite support here. I think we're going to get a nice bounce off of here, and that would be just a good sign that this is just still in an uptrend and a short-term trend reversal. So for instance, we had a pump up, you know, we've had a pump up since March. What am I talking about? We've been pumping up since March with only, you know, 10% pullbacks. This is definitely the biggest pullback we've gotten in the last, you know, year basically. So what we're looking for to happen, guys, is literally a bounce right off of this line right here, push out of this descending wedge to the right. And it looks very, you know, vertical here. It looks very up and down, but Guys, that's okay. As long as we get the bounce right here and we start to push back up this way and head back up towards this channel, that's a good sign that we're still in a good place, okay? We don't want to, for instance, break down below 30,000 here and continue the trend downwards, okay? We don't want to end up back towards, for instance, this channel, okay? Then the back in there and kind of stuck there for a while. Honestly, guys, what I think is happening is just we're going to get a bounce here and then we're going to be pushing up, you know, close. Well, if we say push past right here okay that would be a continuation of the bull trend but say like we do something like this put this over a little bit you know we get a little we get a little bounce and then we don't go as high as the previous peak up here that would indicate a possible trend reversal even for the long term guys so that's definitely what I'm looking for I want to see you know a strong bounce off of the support, head back up towards this channel, and then continue the pattern upwards. Okay, so that's what I think is going on in the Bitcoin price, guys. And you got to understand with the inauguration going on right now, there's a lot of stress. You know, the switching of offices. There's a lot of people stressed out. And honestly, guys, the weak hands are gonna sell out. Okay, and that's not gonna be me. I'm gonna be holding strong. And something I wanted to talk about today was our Bitcoin whales are profiting as weak hands are selling out. So the Bitcoin whales are accumulating your Bitcoin as you sell out, guys. So just remember that. Okay, and a lot of other coins are having some massive dumps. I wanted to go over Chainlink today. Okay, and a couple days ago I was saying to buy this dip right here at the support. Guys, we basically are bouncing off that support. Yes, we wicked down a little bit lower right now, but guys, I put my money where my mouth was. I bought this dip right here at around 13, 
thirteen dollars. Okay, so I'm sitting in a slight profit right now, but honestly, guys, this could go you know it could go down a little bit lower. I'm not too worried. You got to understand there is more uh, there's a, a support basically right down here. So for instance, touch, 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 touch. Okay, the support is right there. So I'm hoping we get a bounce, just like Bitcoin. I really believe in Chainlink. I think they have so much promise to the future. Guys, just last year, this coin was only $2. $4 stable, but at the base, it was $2. <coughs> you know, that's a coin that I think has a lot of potential. I always say, you know, it's like the Tesla of cryptocurrency, and it's going to continue to impress people. They're talking, you know, over $100 within the next few years for Chainlink, and that's something that I am willing to be around for, definitely. And a few other coins I wanted to go over today, guys. Uh, SNX had a massive pump up all the way up to 14 cents, guys. I was talking about buying this coin at around $4 last month in December. If you took that trade, you are in a massive profit right now. Even at the sell-off, you're at over 168%. If you would have sold at the peak, you would have made 240%, guys. So that's just an amazing trade. Let me know if you caught SNX. That's definitely something that's been on my radar for a long time. Basically anything on Gemini, I'm really watching pretty heavily. And, uh, you know, I, I see a lot of potential profits for that. Guys, just all over the place, coin-wide, everything is really crashing. Here's a coin that I've been looking at, and uh, I I wanted to get in on it, but I haven't yet. And I'm, I'm finally getting an opportunity right now. Okay, so I just found this coin recently, Storage. Guys, check this coin out, okay? We had a pump up from its low. Okay, a 55% and then a drop off of the same value. So we're basically back down at those lows. Guys, I think this is an opportune buy opportunity for storage. Okay, check it out at 0 0.30. The low is 0.29 for the day. The 52 week range low is 0.26. I think that's a safe buy. Okay, guys, please do your own homework on storage. Check them out, research them yourselves, find out the technical so that you guys can, you know, make your decision accurately. But I think. I'm going to be putting money on this today or tomorrow. Uh, I'll confirm with you guys in the discussion if I do. But it's looking very good right now. You know, the price is just lining up right. You know, compared to its all-time high up at 62 cents, that's a you know three x or two two to three x from where it is right now. So definitely worth the risk in my book. You guys, check out Storage. Okay, and another coin that I've really been liking, guys, is AAVE. Okay. As you can see, I had all this stuff going for it, and we pumped right out of it. We had a massive pump and then a massive crash. Is this a good time to buy AAV? Uh, honestly, guys, I think we got a little bit more room down. Okay, I think we're going to end up down here because this is where the supports are, down at around $0.85 cents again, and, and uh, a lot of people took profits at around the $0.80. Cents. Guys, this coin will be around $140 by the mid of the year. Okay, So, yeah, you could buy you know today and just kind of hold out. But I am I'm being a little picky here. I'm waiting for it to reach down to the support here, okay, which is right here basically. Oops. Right here, okay. So we could get something like dropping down towards this, you know, something like that, and then get a bounce up and start to work back. And that would, you know, look very like the rest of the chart as well and you gotta understand guys as the EMA 20 pushes way below the EMA 55 and the Bollinger Bands widening there's still an expansion going so that's why I still think we have more room to the downside with the AV. I think we're gonna come down here retest the support and then get a strong bounce okay and the last coin that I wanted to go over today guys is Electronium okay guys a lot of people I know following Electronium Okay, we had a massive pump up I was talking about in my last video, we broke out of the wedge, okay? Electronium breaks out of its descending wedge, okay? And then guys, we had a massive pump up, okay? Pumping all the way up past its recent highs of over a cent. And then guys, we had a big sell off, guys. I, I was gonna put a video up, I just, I just didn't have time, guys. I've been so busy with students and investors and everything, it's just, it's insane right now, it's blowing up. So. You know, this looks like a just a a bear flag to me. Okay, so you know, bear flag right there. Okay, and you know, it broke down in the short term right after that. So this was a very easy read, guys. I, don't, I honestly didn't think you needed me for this one. And this was pretty basic stuff. Um, you know, just 
you can see this the sell-off the the EMA 20 dipping back towards the EMA 55 the confirmation of the of the bear flag right here when that EMA 20 quashes the EMA 55 and the Bollinger Bands have widened along with the decreasing in volume guys you can almost expect a downtrend okay so how low will this go guys I, you know I, like I said with bull theory like this was just a nice gift okay in bull theory there could be a long downtrend or, or no very stable consolidation period before a massive pump okay and that's what I think is happening right now so this was just kind of a nice gift yes you could have taken profits but guys I just sat and watched it you know I'm not I'm not really too worried about it it's just it's it's just something that's you know happening with this coin right now you're gonna see this in this you know trend playing out like that okay so I think again you know we're still in that same boat with this yellow being our bottom support the Bollinger Band still are wide, the MA20 is still way below, so I think there's still some more room to the downside just for all those who are nitpicking right now. You gotta understand the trend, okay guys? We're still in a long consolidation period. This is just, you know, a little bit of hype going on right now with just all the pumps going on. And, I, you know, I think guys, there's, there's still a lot of potential here. Weak hands will get weeded out. The strong prevail. If everyone was strong everyone would make money but not everyone is strong guys that's just the reality that you guys are faced with not everyone is good at this you know people get stressed you know they can't handle the losses guys in my hodl coin today for instance the drop in bitcoin alone costed me hundreds of not that i cashed out but hundreds of thousands of dollars okay i understand you know that my coin will be worth much more in the future so i'm not worried about these 10 to 20 percent dips it's not it's for instance I'm not selling my Bitcoin at the, you know, at these peaks because I believe in much higher Bitcoin prices. Okay. I think a hundred thousand dollars, which I used to think would be the peak is now nothing. You know, Anthony Pompliano, for instance, he's now saying his hundred thousand dollars Bitcoin prediction price that he used to have is now a conservative prediction. And I agree with him guys. I think we're going to see much higher than a hundred thousand dollars Bitcoin in the future. And we're just all going to be really blown away. You know, I hope, you know, it's way over even 200. I think there's a lot of potential, guys. And I know I said that was my last coin I was going to go over, but quickly, guys, I wanted to go over ETH also having a big drop down, okay? Same kind of thing going on, guys. We're looking for a bounce, okay? And basically off of these supports right here. So we're basically very close to it. I hope we get a good bounce right here. You know, ETH definitely looks like it's going to have a very bullish year. So I think, you know, these are definitely some concerning short-term times, guys. We need to get a bounce here to continue this uptrend. Otherwise, if it continued down much more, say like we got a 30%, 40% drop, we can almost say that we're short-term trend changing for most of these coins, okay? So we're definitely in a very make-it-or-break-it moment for crypto at the moment right now. And again, guys, it has to do with the inauguration because there's a lot of stress going on right now. So you got to understand people are going to take profits. They're going to hide a little bit. They're going to make bad calls. So, guys, uh, hold strong, buy these dips, you know, believe in what's going on, guys. You have to believe to make money in this market. And I think, you know, the people that are buying these dips, can, you know, consist uh, consistently are going to be profiting big time, okay? I've been buying every dip since March, and guys, I, I made a buttload of money, okay? And I'm going to continue to make money over this next year just by, you know, le let's forget about leverage and all the other things for a second, but just talking buying coins that are in the profit okay or profiting okay just because you know we had a lot of big pumps right now doesn't mean we can't get even more pumps to come okay i think a lot of these coins are still in their infancy stages and extremely young compared to coins like bitcoin or ethereum which are really shining right now and i think you know a lot of these alt coins are going to have a you know massive pumps as well i think the alt season has definitely been here for a while and i i think it was kind of like released hidden you know it wasn't just like oh it's alt season it's pumping all the alts are pumping guys i think you know just kind of crept in there along with the bitcoin gains along with everything lining up and i think you know coins like ethereum you know electronium zill bch there's so many coins that are just really pumping even and guys bch had a massive pump recently okay we're talking you know 50 percent, and that's you know basically a, a main coin you know, so I think there's a there's just so much going on right now, guys. All these coins are looking for the same kind of bounce right now. It's just really interesting. 
I, and that's why I think that we're going to get it, okay? Because so many coins are reading the same kind of thing. So I think that we're going to get a good bounce. I think this is just, you know, a strong weeding out of weak hands, guys. So hold your bag strong. Buy that dip. Be confident that this is just part of the plan, okay, guys? And you'll know within the next few days if it's a short-term trend reversal. Basically, if we break any of these resistances on any of the or supports on any of these coins, support, support, okay? The support right here, okay? Same things, guys. If we break those supports, that is not a good sign. But I think we're going to get a strong bounce. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And guys, I want to talk about Bitcoin. Whales are profiting as we can sell BTC throughout 40K bull run. So guys, a lot of people are getting weeded out right now with this big 25% pullback. You know, are you worried? I'm going to be honest, guys. I woke up this morning. I'm like, oh, man, I hope this getting is getting a bounce soon, just to be honest with you guys. And I think that heavier you are invested, the more you're going to be feeling these squeezes. Try to control yourselves, guys. Do not get weeded out. I really, I, I can't stress enough. I know I say that all the time, but guys, I think we're going to be at much higher prices this year. You know, this is just an opportunity to scoop up some cheaper coin. And yes, it, it still feels expensive compared to say like last year. But in reality, guys, something like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Electronium, you know, these coins have so much potential to the upside. And if you don't see it by now, you know, I'm beating a dead horse. So millionaire wallets keep growing. Piled by Elio Simons, protocol specialist at blockchain infrastructure, provided by and Trails. The numbers suggest that the wealthy have been profiting from Bitcoin being sold by smaller investors throughout December and January. Addresses with more than 1K BTC continue growing at the expenses of all others, even as this most recent downturn is taking effect, Simons summarized. While you were selling, whales were gobbling up your Bitcoin. And guys, that's what I want you to take from today. I know this is scary with a big dip like this, but you've got to remain strong. Okay, guys, if I would have sold my Bitcoin at that high, I would be kicking my own ass in four months. I would be hating myself. I would be miserable. Okay, so please do not do that to yourself. You're going to look back. I've seen so many YouTube clips of, oh, I'm going to sell Bitcoin. You know, it's going to crash. I can't think of the one guy, but he's like, it's going to crash. It's going to consistently talk about it. it's going to crash. You know, you should sell Guys, that is bullshit, okay? Cryptocurrency has only been around, you know, a, a decade. There is so much potential over the next several decades, guys, and I, I see it so clearly. I hope you guys do too. So Guggenheim hints it will sell their PTC. While institutional buy-ins have become the standard narrative of Bitcoin over the past few months, a rogue weekend signal from one of them caught analysts' attention this week. As Cointelegraph reported, Guggenheim Partners, which announced a sizable fund allocation to BTC in late November, is allegedly planning to sell off its holdings already. The trigger came from Chief Investment Officer Scott Minard, who on Monday said that Bitcoin's weekend drop provides investors to rethink its position. Bitcoin's parabolic rise is unsustainable in the near term, he wrote, vulnerable to a setback. Well, guys, obviously, 10 to 20 percent pullbacks are, are part of the plan here. Even 30, okay, we, you know, we've seen them in the past peaks, you know, when they pumped up all the way to all-time highs and then a, four, you know, 40% blow-off. We've seen that kind of 40 to 80. So, in reality, guys, I think this is a bad move by Guggenheim. I think this is foolish. I think they have a lot of money in. So, for instance, when somebody puts millions and millions and millions in and then, then they make millions and millions and millions and millions, they're like, oh, well, why, why wouldn't I cash out? And that makes sense. But for the investor that doesn't have that, say like you've invested 100000 and made another 100000 Eh, that, you know, I can't retire on $100,000. I need to hold out stronger. I need more money than that. Okay, so for me, it doesn't make sense to just sell off and roll the risk of selling off. You know, I, I uh, maybe a little transparent here. I don't want to work anymore. You know, I want to continue trading. I want to continue teaching. I want to do what I love. Okay, and if I sell off all my coin right now, even at these massive gains, even say like I sold them, you know, two days ago at the peaks, okay? That would be the stupidest thing in the world, okay, guys? In the next five to 10 years, cryptocurrency in its whole is going to explode. Why would I sell for minute profits, okay? It doesn't make any sense to me. So they said the technical upside of 35,000 has been exceeded. Time to take some money off the table. Guys, that won't be me, all right? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. 
I just bought some more chain link. Okay, I just bought some cheap chain link. Chain link is going to explode. You know, all these coins are really going to explode. This is just a fire sale. You know, a good opportunity to buy some cheap coin, guys. And I think the people who are really taking these risks, taking the dive into cryptocurrencies, especially during these dips, are seeing the profits already. And if you haven't seen the profits, you know, you haven't bought crypto within the last year. But guys, I think even the people buying right now, yes, it's scary with this big dip right now, but you're going to see profits just hold strong. And if you're looking to leverage trade and go the you know the fur a little further with yourself, guys, reach out to me. You know, I, I teach all the time. Yes, I do, you know, cost something. I, I don't do this for free, guys, to be real. And you know, I take investments. If you guys want to go the extra mile and learn, I'm gonna do tutorials on all uh, you know forms of leverage and different sites as time goes on. I've just been so swamped, guys, like it, it's really blown up. And I really think, you know, over the next year as my page grows, I'm gonna to continue to see that. You know, uptick and not only viewers but just clients, students, everything, all of the above guys. These are just biblical times in cryptocurrency guys. I hope you guys are involved in making good money. And guys, that's all I have time for today. Be sure to subscribe and like guys. If you don't come from a rich family, a rich family must come from you. And with cryptocurrency, all you guys have to do is ride that wave. So be sure to subscribe and like guys. I am Crypto Matrix. I will catch you guys later.